Here's the part two video of the uh, Camac Turbo. Basically, this is going to be a comparison of these four turbos. The one on the far left is the Turbonetics T3 um, slash T04E Turbo. The one to the right of that is the Godspeed TDO620G, which I had on my car previously. The one to the right of that one is the Camac um, TDO6SL220G uh, STS Turbo. And the one to the right of that is the stock SR T25 Turbo that comes on the S13s. And as you can see from just by looking at them, the one on the far left, the Turbonetics is obviously the largest of all of them. The compressor housing is huge. The inlet is a four-inch, four-inch inlet. To the right of that, these two Camac turbos, the specs on them should be the same. If Godspeed's manufacturer or supplier actually made the turbo to spec, which from taking it apart, they kind of were off by a little bit. And the Camac turbo obviously is the nicest one out of all of them. And then the stock tiny little puny T25. This turbo I actually had on my previous setup before the Godspeed. This was my actual first turbo install on my car. And it was on stock motor boosting 7 pounds. And it was it was actually fairly quick. I can't complain. I mean obviously since it's a lot smaller, um, the spool time on it was ridiculously fast. This thing hit full boost which is 7 pounds at 2200 RPM. So basically as soon as you just you hit the gas it's already at full boost which is really good which is why the uh, factory manufacturers put small turbos on on their production cars that way you don't have any lag during uh, daily driving. But obviously since it's so small on top end the KA24 basically fell on its face. You just it had no power up there's basically going from turbo all the way up to 5500 RPM and then it just goes back to NA since there's no more there's not enough airflow coming out out of this tiny compressor which is why um, later on I eventually upgraded kind of upgraded to this Godspeed 20G which just by looking at it is is obviously much bigger the turbine itself this size of the turbine on the Godspeed is the same size as the this actual larger bore of this turbo but I mean you can see the compressor housing is able to flow more air um, the exhaust turbine is much larger compared to this um, bottleneck looking thing I mean, this thing is actually really small compared to this one here but, um, yeah one thing that I want you to focus on or pay attention to is the amount of blades that these turbine wheels have. This one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 blades. This one here has the same amount, I think. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Actually this one has 12 blades. So T25 has 11 blades. The Godspeed 20G has 12 blades. And as like I told you before, the STS turbo that Kamak makes is a 9 blade. This is their 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 own design. And as you can see, the blades are much longer since this center nut is much smaller than this one here. So they're able to get more surface area, meaning more exhaust from the engine pushes on each individual blade creating a quicker spool time and since there's less blades and a smaller uh, mass here in the center it's a lot easier to spool up this turbo so I can expect to see a spool time of about 500 rpm quicker than the other turbos which is which is a lot and then um, basically here too I mean the center mass is fairly large and then the, not the 12 blades just make this turbine incredibly heavy compared to the STS and then going on to this big thing over here, this is the uh, Turbonetics T3 exhaust housing. This is basically a hybrid turbo, smaller exhaust housing, bigger compressor. Basically get more air with a faster spool time having a smaller turbine here. But as you can see here, this one has probably 11 blades as well. Yeah, 11 blades, but I mean you can see the size of the massive this uh, center portion here compared to the uh, 
the Kamac STS version. I mean, so that's a pretty big difference there. So besides the obvious differences, I mean, compressor width-wise, obviously the Kamac I said in the previous video is made out of billet aluminum, which is machined on a five-axis CNC machine. So, okay, now that I made a mess, I'll basically go and explain um, the internals. So, I'm going to cut the video short right here and I'm going to be taking apart um, these three servos on the left. I'm not going to take apart the T25 because obviously it's a little smaller than it compared to the other ones. So I'll give you a, a brief explanation on exactly how the turbo works and what all the numbers AR and all those technical terms mean.